The first great bull market was 1971 to 1980, uh, and gold went up over 2,000% uh, from $35 an ounce to $800 an ounce in January 1980. Why is gold going up? What's going on? Uh, what's the basis for predicting $15,000 an ounce by 2025, which I do. Uh, but then also, well, what, is it, what does it really mean? Is that uh, you said it's not a good thing, and, and I agree, it's not a good thing for the economy, it's not a good thing for um, uh, for most markets. If you have gold, you can pat yourself on the back and say, yeah, I made a lot of money on gold. But in, that might be in a world where you're losing a lot of money on other things, and you need to be alert, alert to the overall economic picture. So let's take this one at a time. You know, the gold $15,000 an ounce, it's, it comes out of three different analyses that actually don't correlate to each other. In other words, you do it one way, uh, you get a number, you do it another way, you get a number, you do it a third way, you get a number. It was interesting that they all came out, not exactly to the penny, but very close to that $15,000 number. So um, the first way to do it is just, uh, it's a little bit of technical analysis, not overly technical. We're in the third great bull market in gold in history. When I say in history, you're like, well, gee, history is a long time. How come this is only the third bull market? Well, the answer is for almost all of history up until 1971, gold was money. So you didn't have bull markets or bear markets. It was just gold. Uh, and uh, that, that was the money. And you thought about it by weight. You say, well, I'll give you an ounce of gold for this property, or I'll give you, you know, a quarter ounce for, you know, some food or uh, groceries or whatever. So you thought about gold by weight. It was money constant store value. So it's really only since 1971 when Nixon suspended redemption of uh, dollars for gold by our foreign trading partners that gold just went its own way, detached from the dollar. So the dollar would do what it was going to do and and gold had it, had its own market and still does. Um, the first great bull market was 1971 to 1980 uh, and gold went up over 2,000%. Uh, from $35 an ounce to $800 an ounce in January 1980. Uh, then there was like a long, drawn out, almost 20 year uh, bear market from 1980 to 1999, uh, and gold dropped down to around 250. So it went from the 800 level down to 250. The second great bull market was from 1999 to 2011, August 2011. Gold went from $250 an ounce to $1,900 an ounce. That was an almost 700% gain. Then the second bear market, August 2011 to December 2015. The third bull market, I can give you the exact date, December 16th, 2015. Gold hit $1,050 an ounce. That was the bottom of the second bear market I described, a pretty steep fall from the 1900 level. But you could tell it was the bottom. You say, well, how do you know that? Um, I had a conversation with our friend Jim Rogers, one of the greatest traders in general, and certainly one of the greatest commodity traders of all time. And this was before that market bottom when it was still going down. And I said, Jim, um, we were down in the Dominican Republic. I said, Jimmy, buying gold? And he said, no, he said, I've, I'm, I've got gold. I'm keeping the gold I have. I'm not buying more right now because it hasn't hit bottom. And then he, he gave me one of the best pieces of advice I've ever had. He said, Jim, nothing goes from here to the moon without a 50% drawdown along the way. It'll, it'll get there, but it'll go up, down 50%, and then back up for the really big, you know, sort of hyperbolic price movement. We said, you, you have to expect that. It's true of all commodities. Well, taking that advice, and then, you know, look at the charts. Well, starting uh, at 1900, if you say, okay, it was, it was 250, it was 1999. 1900 was August 2011. So there was that gain. I uh, said so 250 to, uh, to 1900. So there was that gain of uh, 17, uh, um, sorry, 1650, $1,650 an ounce of gain. Take half of that, that's 825. Um, so take 1900 minus 825, and guess where you come out? You come out right at, uh, you know, right at uh, 1075. And so uh, when I saw 1050, I said, bingo, there's the 50% drawdown. It's exactly what Jim Rogers uh said would happen uh that's the bottom and it's up about 50 percent from there now it's been a little bit higher than that but it's up about 50 percent from there so there's your third bull market but here's the point robert if the first bull market was up two thousand percent and the second bull market was up 700 percent if you just take the average of those two you don't have to pick the higher of the two you don't have to go crazy or say it'll be bigger than ever it could be but you don't have to do that if you just take the average of those two 
um, you would come up with a number around uh, uh, 1,400 percent gain from where we from from the 1050. Well, that would put you at almost fifteen thousand dollars an ounce. So, in other words, and, and the same time period, the first bull market was uh, uh, eight years. Uh, the, uh, sorry, nine years. The second bull market was twelve years. Just take the average; you get ten and a half years. So, from December 2015, just using the averages, not anything crazy. Uh, ten and a half years up, you know, fifteen hundred percent. Bingo, it puts you at fifteen thousand dollars an ounce in twenty twenty five. And by the way, don't wait. If, if you if you agree with that analysis, and there's more to back it up. Don't wait until twenty twenty five. People say, oh, okay, well, it's going to be fifteen thousand dollars an ounce. Uh, I'll go out and get it in twenty uh, twenty four. You know, I'll catch the wave. No, it's it, it's a long way between here and fifteen hundred. I mean, you got to get to three thousand, four thousand. Five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, etc. You got a long way to go to fifteen thousand. So why not get get the gold now, which I do recommend, and then enjoy all those profits. Don't wait to the end because it could happen. There could be like a little spike at the end. A thousand dollar gain is a thousand dollar gain. If you have an ounce of gold and it goes up a thousand dollars an ounce, you just made a thousand dollars. That's real money. But because you're working off a higher base, each thousand dollar gain is a smaller percentage than the one before. So when you move from two thousand dollars to three thousand dollars an ounce, that's a fifty percent gain. But when you move from fourteen thousand to fifteen thousand, it's only a seven percent gain. So that's why these bull markets get, get a lot of their gains toward the end because seven percent—that's a week. And then you're not going to—you might have to wait a while to get to three thousand. But if you're at fourteen, you're not going to wait long to get to fifteen. A seven percent could be a one-week rally. So in other words, those thousand-dollar increments are smaller percentages and easier to achieve the further along you go. So, One more so, reason to get the gold now. So, so that's why you've, you've talked about it. It goes parabolic. It goes... Correct. But uh, again, a thousand bucks is a thousand bucks. It's the same amount of money, but it's a smaller percentage, which means it's easier to hit. And so the, the hard work is right now kind of getting to three, four thousand, which it will. But uh, it, it can really take off from there. Hundred dollar days are going to be the norm. Thousand dollar weeks are not going to be unusual, and they'll be more and more frequent as we move along. So that's one analysis. The second analysis is um, if you just use a monetary analysis. I'm not saying we're going to go on a gold standard. We may. But right now, there's not a central bank in the world that wants a gold standard. Not one. They hate it. But they may be forced to go to it or something like it because if, if confidence is lost in in government money and in, in fiat money. Uh, they may have to turn to gold, not because they want to, but because they have to, to restore confidence. So what's that math? Well, um, the the global money supply is about, um, I'm using M1 and the major economies, which is about 80% of the global GDP, uh, is about 33 trillion. Uh, and there happen to be about 34,000 tons of official gold. That's not all the gold in the world. That's the official gold held by central banks and so forth.